Oh yeah, folks. Right, I'm trying to look at the camera, but it's a little bit difficult for me because I can't actually see. So I'm just going to look at the screen. So I do apologise about that if I'm not looking actually looking direct, directly at the camera. Right. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Ranger Beats. I'm going to show you my Ranger Beats again, a close up uh, on them. And I've got these Ranger Pace Counter Beats. Not oh, these ones. As well, I want to talk about these of them. I'll talk about these quickly first. I don't think much of these. I'm sorry, there's there's just something about them. I don't like. I don't. I don't know what it is. I just don't fancy having that. I don't mind attached to my um straps and my books. I can get that, but I just don't know. Don't know about these. Because if you go like that and you loop them on like like that, you loop them on so that it's looped on like that. I don't know. I don't get them. I don't like. I don't like them. I like. Don't get me wrong. They are good way to beat. Don't get me wrong. But they're just not for me. Yeah. These are the standard range of beats everybody has. All right, these are not standard, of course, because these are just, I think these are military. I think, I'm not 100% sure. It says military. Combat uh, uh, accessories. So, yeah. I don't like these because basically you have the two, two things separate, but they're not separate. The only thing that separates them I put that to the hammer. Is that not right there? That's the only thing that separates it. Is that not right there? And to me, that would just confuse me. I I had ones, I guess, and I took mine apart. I just didn't like them. The other thing I don't like about these, I don't. This is not power cord. I can tell you that now. I know you'll use this as power cord anyway. I don't know what it is, I just don't like them, I guess. But, yeah, that's just the standard, bog standard range of beads. Now I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you my range of beads. They are a lot different, they are attached. There is a few things I will show you on the, on the front as well, because at the end of the day you're just going to see it anyway. Yeah, because this is all different. This is all what's changed on the um, yoke system to my rucksack. So, yeah. So, what do you think? See you in a bit. Right, guys. Here's my range of beads, as you can see. Yeah. They're separate. They're not attached to each other. They are separate. And they are in the yoke system, as you can see. They're attached. I cannot take these off. These will not come off. Yeah, I do have the four there. I wanted the I wanted five here, but I might dismantle the first one lot I shown you just to put the five there. But it's not a necessity. I do have nine here on this one, as you can see. There's the there's just a stopper on the bottom of this one, and this one here, as I said to you in my last video, in my last video. That my survival kit, my survival tin, button compass, I put in this if I'm using it. So, yeah. And the reason I like mine here is because I can get to them easier. And not just that, I can put them down easily. I can see them. I can see the difference in them. There's just a lot. A lot of difference. I know it's black. I know they blend in with the rest of the rucksack, as you can tell by the rest of my stuff. But at the end of the day, it, it's a lot different. It's a lot better. Yeah, having them all separate like this, and having them all together. Yeah, I can't bring. I will try and bring it back, but I don't think I can. Yeah, that's now you can.
Now you can see them. Now you can see it all. All of them. You can see, see? There's the four. And there's the nine. Well, I'm going to hurry up now because I've just found out. I've just, I've just been notified that I've only got 9% battery left. So, yeah. Right, attached above them, as you can see, is a little morning knife. I know not many people like these, but I've sharpened mine that it actually cuts and it actually hurts when you cut yourself with it because it's razor sharp now. There, that pouch there is a glove pouch, but there's more time. I've got poo bags in there. Yes, I do carry poo bags everywhere I go. Yes, I will have it all the time. Five or up. I got. Wait, as I was saying, guys, five or up here. I've got one of these Molly clips. I do like to have it there. I don't. I don't always keep it there, but I do like to have them. I do usually have one at least on my shoulder strap. If it's not there, it will be on my belt and over here as you can see here I have one of these molly clips this is for my water bladder if I'm using my water bladder I have one there and I have one further up here yeah that's the differences in this modern time on the waist strap as you can as I said before you can see the molly knife there it is attached where the clip onto the sternum strap because I prefer it to be there than anywhere else. It's easy to get to if I need it. That's the same as my wager beads. Wager beads. Wager beads. Pacer beads, or whatever you want to call them. Ranger beads, pacer beads, whatever you want to call them. That's where they are. So, tell me what you think. If you don't like it, tell me why. Tell me where you put your ranger slash pacer beads. And if you have them in a traditional way, or if you have them in a unique way, what's best for you? Please let me know in the comments, and I will look forward to seeing them if you ever do any videos on them, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.